Hey again, it's your girl Jillian from Orange, Green, and Natural, and I'm back to talk about your 10 ways to healthy your hair. So last okay. time we talked about setting your hair goals. This time, I'm going to combine two and three together. So step two is your scalp exfoliation, and then three is going to be your hair or your hair strand detox. Okay, so I know that when my skin gets dry, um, I grab my nearest loofah or my favorite body scrub and I just go to work and exfoliating your skin reveals, you know, fresh, just healthier, smoother, more moisturized skin. Um, and so why wouldn't you do that with your scalp? I mean, it's skin, you know, it gets dry, gets irritated, uh, just like the rest of your body. There's debris that builds up on your scalp that you know can really hinder your hair growth so there are some products out there some natural some not so natural um as well as uh, some diy treatments that you can use for your hair and of course i'll post those at the bottom of this video little tools like this babyliss pro uh scalp uh shampoo uh brush that you basically just kind of roll it around on your scalp, not too, not, not too rough. Uh, you know, the bristles kind of do the work for you. And it just pick, picks up any buildup on your scalp to really uh, reveal like clean and just, uh, just healthier, a healthier scalp. It, it helps to control your dandruff. Um, and it really just gets some blood circulating in your scalp, which will also promote healthier hair growth. Um, there also is one by Vita Goods that is vibrating, which I could only imagine is amazing. Um, there's a couple of product reviews on YouTube, and there's one by one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, Natural85, uh, that I'll post at the bottom of this video, and uh, she loves it. She's She did the video back in 2014, and she's still using it, uh, from my understanding, to this day. So... Uh, yeah, keep that in mind, you know, it might be something that you want to incorporate into your your weekly wash routine. Um, and thirdly is your hair detox. Now, there are just some products that I know work for my hair. I've been using them since I started going natural, um, and they're just staples. So when they don't work the way that I know that they can work for my hair, I know that it's time to detox my strands. Now, you know, you your detox can be as harsh as you want it to be, um, but because natural hair is already prone to dr prone to dryness, um, I would suggest using something a little gentler. Like there are clarifying or cheetling, um shampoos out there. Uh, like Neutrogena, which is one that I've used before, but there's also natural alternatives like apple cider vinegar rinse, just, you know, apple cider and purified water. And there are mud treatments like bentonite clay and razul clay that really work to purify your strands like they do your pores. Um, and these are just some of the things that I have found uh, that work best for my hair. Um, and I usually tend to uh, hair detox about once a month. Um, and really, I notice that once I do this, my hair just seems to absorb more of the uh, products that I use. And sure enough, the products that, that I know work for my hair and that all of a sudden started acting up, um, you know, once again, start working for me. My hair is shinier. It's bounce. My curls are bouncier. Um, and my hair is just more manageable in general. So if you get to a point in your hair routine where your hair is acting up or, uh, you know, you aren't doing anything, manipulating it any way that it should be tangling or that it should, the hair, your hair is looking dull, um, you should detox and and I'm sure that once you try it if it's not already a part of your routine um that it'll definitely become a staple for you detoxing your strands um 
essentially lifts lifts the cuticle of your of your hair and literally cleans out any of the builds up so all of the moisturizing products the pomades the gels um any things like that that really just stick to your your strand will just dissolve with these clarifying um treatments i think sometimes people forget that your hair is an extension of your body so if you are mistreating your hair, you know, it's time to to do a little detox to kind of revive it and refresh it. One thing that I did want to mention is that when you are using detoxing products, that you definitely want to follow with a moisturizer because essentially you're stripping your hair of oils, good and bad. Um, and so it's important that you follow up with some moisture so that when you continue with your styling, um, you're, you're not damaging your hair. Your hair is, you know, moisturized and pliable and primped and ready to go. Yeah, so, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and share those quick uh, tips with you guys. And again, you know, just combine, I just decided to combine two and three together. Um, and I hope that, you know, this kind of gives you some insight into scalp uh, exfoliation and hair detoxing. If you have any questions or you have any comments, if you've ever tried any of these things or if you've tried other things that have worked for you that I did not mention, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.